Good morning guys. Up on the mountain for an elk shed hunt. For those of you who follow the channel, you might remember last year, my girlfriend Bridget and I went on a big shed trip. We called it the shed tour. I think we did 10, 10 or 11 videos in a row from that trip. Had a lot of fun, covered a ton of miles. Came with its ups and downs and I'm sure that's what I'm gonna be expecting this year, same thing. But today's the first day we've been out here. Bridget's just above me. We kind of fanned out. We're gonna hit this ridge right here. And I just came across that fresh elk tracks, fresh elk bed. So it gets me excited to know that some bulls are up here. It just happened to be in this little swell where there's just like a little bit of snow left. But for the most part, it's all melted on this slope. I think I'm just gonna hike up higher, try to get super high and then do my zigzags all the way down. But just wanna say welcome to Shed Tour 2018. Uh, yeah, so we've been getting our butts kicked big time. And on the way up, this was the only place that I saw elk tracks. So, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel so lucky right it's now. So lucky, big. but a smart move because this is the only place we saw tracks on the way up. So Bridget and I got in touch on the radio. I said, let's go back down lower to where I saw the tracks. We just barely met up after using our Onyx maps to find each other. And bingo. A big brown, big. It's like two feet off the ground. Yeah, it's hanging in the oak brush over there. I just saw the white burr on it. Oh man, focus, there it is, right there. See the white burr in the middle? Finally, oh my gosh, big, heavy, stubby looking thing. It felt so funny. <laughs> oh, is it stuck in the oak brush? Yeah, it's hanging in the oak brush. God. <laughs> All right, maybe it looked bigger from over there, but it's a nice one for sure. Dang, how cool is that, babe? That's nice. Right here where I saw the tracks. That Kept... is so cool. <laughs> a left side. I wonder how he dumped it like that. Big old burr. Man, he looks so much bigger from over there. I mean, it's a solid six point, and trust me, I'm stoked. But uh, it looked bigger. It's a nice one though, huh? Yeah. Look at that thing. First brown elk so shed of brown. 2018. And hopefully we can turn up the match right here somewhere. But look how that thing, how would he have been standing and dropped that thing like that? He was going this way. <laughs> He's so cool. Yes, it paid off. I was probably thinking the same as you. We weren't gonna find anything. I know. But we kept, kept going. I just literally stopped right over there. Heck, I could see where I was sitting and I ate some lunch. Haven't really filmed much because I've been so, so depressed about not finding anything. <laughs> that will fix that. That's sweet. All caught up in the oak brush. Just need to get some pictures of it and then we'll pick it up. First elk shed of 2018 for the shed tour. <laughs> nice. Pretty dense. It's a good one. Yeah, it's a nice. He is his main beam is pretty heavy actually. He is heavy. Like down here, that's that's pretty solid. Just a cool bull, huh? Heck yeah. All right. So the goal clearly is to find the match to this. I haven't seen a boot track up here, so I'm hoping that it's still here definitely fresh and uh, we saw more than one elk track right through here so hopefully we can scoop up the other side and maybe pick up another one to check this out first brown of 2018 sure as soon as we find a horn and have some motivation it starts snowing it's kind of that weird snow not enough to stick or get too deep but enough to be a nuisance now where is the other side of this thing i feel like i need to go to the, my right I'm going to the right well i'm glad we did that hike today because we were watching the weather and it wasn't going to be any good for very long so tomorrow is supposed to dump snow or either rain almost everywhere we plan on going so we're kind of in a bind on what to do tomorrow i think this afternoon we're going to spend some time driving and trying to figure out what we're gonna do tomorrow. So try to find a place to stay. Maybe go get some food and uh, see where this journey takes us next. But yeah, 
Hike number one was a success, barely. I found that antler right at the end of the at the end of the hike, but it was a lot better than nothing, and it's nice to get a brown. Good thing we're getting off this mountain now because it is muddy. The tires are just caked in mud even on the jumping jack. But uh, we'll make it down. Welcome to day number two of the shed tour. Um, nothing too exciting happened last night. We pretty much just drove through the snowstorms. I mean, they were everywhere, but take a look at this. This is what we woke up to. We woke up at 6 a.m., saw that it had snowed a bunch, and decided just to go back to bed. But I guess we'll just use Sunday as a day to cover more country and what I what I mean by that is just to drive more we have a long drive we have a six hour drive to cover at some point today anyway so we'll just uh, chip at that all day and yeah back on the road we go but look at this mess <laughs> of course the weekend you want to get out and go this happens right every single time well we drove out of that storm well it's kind of snowing where we're at now but at least it's the ground is dry. Bridget and I are gonna go look for deer sheds. It's windy, it's cold, but uh, this is really all we have to work with. So we're just gonna hit this one spot, which is kind of on the way to where we're headed tonight anyways. But uh, yeah, we just need a break in this weather. This is what we're working with, just a lot of sagebrush, and low desert country. Oh my gosh, we're on the board. It's so funny, Bridget just came on the radio right when I spotted this. So, I've got one, and she's got one. She said hers with a three-point. Mine's just this little two-point, but what the heck. Better than nothing. Not bad for being out here for 30 seconds or so, but this is kind of the terrain we're, we're going through. But, uh, heck yeah, sweet. Bridget just got one, and I got one already. It's going to be a good day. deer saw me oh they're only like 70 yards in front of me just kind of working up the hill one of them did look at me but the rest of them were just kind of walking up should be some browns somewhere in here well it is blowing in haven't found a shed since right out of the truck unfortunately I don't know what the deal is with that happens way too much you get out of the truck find one you go racing for these ridges long, long, far away, and you don't find anything, and you wonder, maybe I should have just stayed by the truck. But I have seen deer, plenty of deer sign, no sheds though. So I might give it another hour, and then turn around, get out of here, try to beat this storm out of here. Maybe it'll blow out, who knows, but I need a shed bad, soon. Motivation levels are, are dropping right now. Hi. Just the one, huh? Just the one. How do we find two right out of the truck? I don't know. That and then weird. no more. <laughs> There's so much sign. I know, lots of sign. I can't believe it. Well, we're gonna pack up and get out of here. Yep. On to the next spot. Home sweet home. Well, that, uh, snowstorm kind of ruined our plans for camping and we weren't really where we wanted to be until late tonight so we're here late and i'm starving so i'm busting out the camp chef here's my setup got the rain ear got the little tote bag and uh over here i'll be have a chopping board but we're gonna have breakfast for dinner just gonna cook some potatoes and eggs this little guy's sweet i've got so much stuff just and these two little totes alone. There we go, cooking oil. So we've got everything I need right in here, like plates, cups, bowls, spices, bags, oil, everything you need. I'm just gonna cut up some potatoes and get those started first. Look at this masterpiece. Breakfast for dinner. We got eggs, potatoes, um, avocado, Decided to get the egg beaters this time just because we're traveling and 
it's easier to keep than eggs in a cooler which sometimes will break so there's dinner well that's it for just uh, the first video of shed tour 2018 it was a lot of driving i felt like i have been driving for two days straight but we didn't have the best of weather so we we worked with what we had we got the one brown which by the way is sleeping in the bed just kidding keeping it in here because that's gall it's probably worth 130 bucks just by itself stay tuned we're gonna have day two of shed tour um will be posted tomorrow i'll i'll most likely be making a video almost every day of the trip make sure you subscribe to the channel it's gonna be good i have a good feeling about where we're gonna be going the next couple days so stay tuned elk sheds uh galore the next couple days i hope anyways thanks guys all right guys, thank you so much for watching the first video from the Shed Tour 2018 video series. Make sure you watch tomorrow's video. The shed hunting definitely gets better and better each day as this trip goes on. But if you guys can't get enough shed hunting action, click one of these two videos right here so you can watch some of my personal favorite videos from last year's series. And check out all the hushing gear at gethushing.com. Get yourself a hat. Appreciate the support guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you subscribe. Make sure you come back tomorrow. See ya.